Hi, I'm Anna Padres. And I'm Keith Norval. And we are here in our painting studio. We're both painters here in Raleigh. Um, this is an example of something that I painted and it's kind of like an abstract uh, house. You can see it's really colorful. I like to paint with oil paints. And here's one of mine. This one is also an oil painting. So you can see it's like an owl family. And I like to do really simple geometric shapes and then like have fun playing around with the brushwork and building up the paint colors. So we are here today to show you guys how to mix your colors and do your little part for the horse mural, the Mustang mural at Martin. So for my piece, I am using George Surratt for uh, my demo and I will be working in the pointillism technique. Okay, so I am doing um, another pointillist technique. So I'm thinking like, you know, we might have some transition on this piece with some pointillism on this side and that side. Um, so this is our Put these together. This, this is going to be a mural. And I've got my tie back. So when you get ready to work, um, you want some kind of palette and a paper towel, and then you get your paints out of your um, bag here. So I've got like a cerulean blue, an ultramarine blue, and a turquoise. So I'm going to tape my piece of Tyvek down. Just on a couple of edges here. And then what I will do is kind of like an all over pattern with the dots. So I'm sort of just filling in all the empty spots where I don't have dots. So it's kind of like stippling with color if anyone's done stippling. And now I'll go back with this turquoise. Then I think maybe I'll do some more of this ultramarine on this side, and then maybe more of the 
cerulean on the other side, so there's like a little transition. So with his technique, the whole theory was if you put these dots side by side, then your eye, when you step back from it, your eye blends them together. Sort of like uh, on a TV screen. Or the old TVs, I guess. Okay, and then on this side, I'll go back with a little bit more of the cerulean and then it'll sort of meet in the middle a few more turquoise dots kind of so I'm doing ultramarine and then cerulean and then a little more more of the turquoise in the middle so you guys can leave some white if you want to or you can cover the entire thing up it's up to you All right, so I think that looks good so I'm gonna leave it like that and let that one dry I am going to be looking at Gerhard Richter for inspiration on my little abstract painting. Okay, so I'm getting ready to do a Gerhard Richter inspired piece of Tyvek. Um, so I have my little cardboard piece here. I have taped my Tyvek down to the table because I'm going to be pushing paint around and I don't want it to move. Um, so for the first thing I'm going to do is load up the edge of this um, cardboard with some different colors. So you guys have the ultramarine, blue, the um, turquoise, and then you've got the cerulean blue, which is a greener blue. So I might even just come in and uh, mix the colors a little bit on the edge of this, just to see what happens. Okay, we'll see what happens. The good thing about this technique is if you don't like what you get, you can just do it over again later. So you just take it and you apply a little bit of pressure and you just pull it across. So, it looks like I didn't get quite enough paint on the edges here. So I could try to do the edges like separately. I'm gonna need a little more paint for that. I might just do it turquoise because there's less turquoise stuff in this one, but I like the way this smeared, so I'm gonna leave it how it is. Um, also, if you are working um, at on a table that you don't want to get paint on, make sure before you start this to put down a tablecloth, some newspaper, something to protect your table so you don't end up making a mess. Um, of, of course, this table is a painting table, so it doesn't matter. So you may use this technique. Um, you can use Keith's Surratt technique or... You can watch some of the other videos and get other ideas, um, or you can just make up your own technique and do your own thing.